the anointing you honor, right, is the anointing that will work for you. Do you understand? You can walk with me for many years and still the grace I walk in will not function in your life. Why? Because you are not submitted to it. But when you submit to it, you shall begin to see what I do, you begin to do. Because you are submitted to it. I want to show you a quick example. I have a daughter of mine. Her name is Christina. I think she's watching here. So Christina, she was 17 years old. And I believe it was the very next year that she graduated high school, correct? Mm -hmm. She graduated high school and she got a full ride scholarship to go to Miami. You know, you, that, that's, a, that's, that's a state where people party. <laughs> <laughs> and the devil had a perfect trap for my daughter. And so when they came to me excited, oh, Apostle, God has answered our prayers. It's a Daytona. Oh, my God. She said, oh, Apostle, I have a full ride scholarship. She thought I was going to be excited with her. I said, oh, praise the Lord. But I knew that was not the will of God. So I came home that week. I had a vision, and God showed me how the devil had planned to destroy Christina. And when the Lord showed me that, it wasn't just Christina. It was young people that were being set up to be destroyed. And so, because the devil wanted to remove them from the fire, because when they come to this church, you come to this church, you will be transformed. You will be renewed. There is fire that will come on you. There is fire that will cause people around you to start saying, hey, what's wrong with you? You understand? Those that are doing wrong things, they cannot stand you. But those will begin to open for you. So Christina, she, I, talk, I spoke with the parents. Christina, she was disappointed, but she obeyed. Instead, she went to a school where she was paying in Atlanta. It looked like was outside of the will of God. But later on, through her deliverance, the demons began to talk about the plans that the devil had for her. They said about year three, right? They said year one was going to be okay, year two, but year three, her life was going to start unraveling, spiral into deep abyss. This young lady, she's flourishing. Hallelujah. Got a career. Not only that, the grace that I operate in is functioning in her life. She is now experiencing, she's now tapping into the miraculous without her even desiring it or saying, I, she has never once said to me she wants to be a minister. She has never desired to, all she, she works in the media department. She has never desired to do anything else but media. But watch what's going on with her. One day she prayed for a lady that was barren. She prayed with the confidence she sees me operate in. And guess what? The lady gave birth the following year. And then now, just recently, oh, the testimony came in yesterday. I don't even know if she knows the testimony. There's a lady whom I was supposed to pray for. She has, oh, sorry, pause. The lady who's barren, now she got two kids. Now she has two kids, and she was barren. You see what I'm saying? The same grace. This is my daughter who doesn't hold an office in the ministry. She just, she just works in media. <laughs> but her submission is causing her to tap into the grace that I walk in. Just recently, a lady called on the phone, desiring for me to pray for her, but I was not available. My, my wife was not available. And Christina said, I'll take that call. The lady had prayed for her, it disappeared. Then she went to the doctor, and apparently what happened? Her eyes scheduled for cataract surgery. But this, after Christina had prayed for her, it disappeared. Everything wrong with her was taken care of. She was scheduled to have a cataract surgery. She goes back to the doctor, and the doctor says, we don't know what happened, but that cataract is gone. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Apostle Eric. Look, uh, I want you to uh, like, subscribe, share this, uh, this broadcast. In fact, I would recommend that you would go and watch the past videos, man. Continue to feed your spirit, man, so that you can become a spiritual giant that you were born to be. God bless you, and I love you. Shalom.